Hi, it's John Whitehead again. And I hope if you've been following the last five weeks that I've challenged you. I've challenged you with a few things. I hope that if you've been watching me over time, you've recognized that over the last five weeks, I've maybe asked some really tough questions, some questions to get you really thinking about your role as a leader in the organization and how you are working with those people around you. Because we've been talking about challenging the process. And challenging the process is about stepping out of your comfort zone sometimes, isn't it? It's about looking outside the box. It's about taking risks. It's about looking for those little wins. Taking those little wins and building on them. Recognizing that nobody's perfect. But oh, we, even when we mess up, we learn from it. And so when we look at challenging the process and Kuzas and Posner's five practices within that, be, that sorry, five, there are six behaviors within that practice. Here's the final one. Experiment and takes risk even when there is a chance of failure. Experiments and takes risks even when there's a chance of failure. Two ways of looking at this. For yourself, are you taking risks? Are you stepping outside the box? But also giving space for your direct reports to do that as well. Is there risks? Yes, there's risks. There are risks. But how do you build people's competencies. How do you build their own skill sets, their skill sets? You do that by giving them opportunities. So remember when I said earlier on a few weeks ago, when, when was the last time people walked into your door, knocked on the door, phoned you and said, hey boss, we've got a problem with what should we do? Or I'm not, you know, um, here's something that's come up. How should we handle it? And what was my suggestion? My suggestion was to turn around to them and say, what do you think you should do? What do you think you should do? And do you have any other options? What are some of the options that you come up with? Get them thinking about it. Get them taking some of those risks. This is how we grow as a leader. It's how we grow as an organization. We grow by building our own people up. So that this brings us to the end of challenging the process. I hope that you are able to take, being able to take something away from these last few weeks. And if you have, I'm going to ask you to put them at the bottom of this video uh, below this post with some of the things that you've come up with, some of the things that you've done to challenge the process to take risks. Reach out to me. If you'd like to explore this some more, I am, an, I am a leadership coach. So feel free to reach out, no obligation. We can have a 30 minute conversation so we can explore some of those things for you. Happy to do that. And again, if you sign up for my blog post, I'll be happy to send you a, a free copy of my ebook. What are these things, these things called soft skills? Thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you again next week. Have a great week.